Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Today I want to talk about some of the high yield points in immunizations. Some of the most important vaccine rules include the following. When you find that a child is behind on one or more of the vaccinations, you should immediately start to catch up the vaccinations, beginning with that particular visit. Okay, so you don't need to actually delay catching up the vac vaccination. In order to determine what vaccines should be given, you should use the catch-up table, and you can use much shorter minimal dosing intervals. And that is the key point here. With the catch-up table, you can use much shorter minimal dosing intervals. There is no need to start over again, and that's a key point here. You can start up wherever you left off. Now, if you have a child with unknown and uncertain status for the vaccines, then you must give whether or not um, you know what vaccines are already given to the patient so you have to determine you know what's indicated and what's not indicated and that's actually required for entry into school because certain children may need to have an official immunization record with the required vaccinations before they enter school a number of states have provisions for parents who feel based on strong religious or philosophical reasons that they do not want their child to be immunized. This is rare, however, and if the parent does not comply, homeschooling will be necessary. You can also rely on herd immunity if the vast majority is immunized. And as you can see recently in the U.S. and around the world, when immunizations are less, communicable diseases occur in high numbers. Another high yield point is that preterm infants are vaccinated according to the chronological age in full doses, the same as term infants. So you don't need to change any of the schedules or the dosages for preterm infants. Another high yield point is that attenuated live vaccines, mainly the MMR and the varicella, and if a child has had a recent administration of immunoglobulin such as IVIG then you have to delay the administration of the live vaccine for approximately 3 to 11 months depending on what was given and for what condition. Another key point is that the only absolute contraindication um, to a vaccine is previous se severe reaction to a component of that administered vaccine and if that's the case that vaccine becomes contraindicated in the patient. Everything else is an indication to delay the immunization until the child is well again. So the two key points are you do not need to restart the vaccines if a child has missed a vaccine. Simply consider looking at the catch-up table which has much shorter or minimal dosing intervals and continue from there. Also preterm infants are treated the same way as term infants per chronological age in full dosages. Another high yield point was that in attenuated live vaccines, if the patient did recently receive immunoglobulin, then you can delay the administration 3 to 11 months. The only absolute contraindication is a previous reaction to a component of the vaccine. And if there is a known allergy to a component of the vaccine, then it's also contraindicated. An example is the egg allergy. Egg is used in the manufacturer's influenza, not MMR. Other examples are gelatin in MMR and some antibiotics in other vaccines. At this time, it is now felt that MMR does not lead to autism. That's another high yield point. In addition, it is now felt that the thermosol, the HG containing preservative removed now since a number of years, does not lead to autism. So that's another high yield point. All live viral vaccines are contraindicated in congenital and acquired immune deficiencies as well as pregnancy except possibly MMR varicella in HIV. All pregnant women should receive TD and the influenza vaccine during the flu season after the 14th week. So the key points that we talked about today were parts of vaccine rules that you should be familiar with for the board exam. We talked about the fact that previous serious reactions as well as allergies like egg allergy or contraindications for 
vaccinations and that MMR vaccine is not linked to autism. Also, all the live viral vaccines are contraindicated in congenital and acquired immune deficiencies and pregnancies, except for the possible use of MMR and varicella in HIV patients. Pregnant women should receive TD and influenza. That was a review of some of the vaccine rules you should be familiar with for the board exam. Please visit comlexflashcards.com. That's comlexflashcards.com for additional board review lectures and good luck in your preparation for the boards.